Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel, with Website Candy, and there are a lot of different services very similar to Dropbox, such as Google Drive, uh, and a long list of other ones. I don't really necessarily know all of them. However, Dropbox is awesome. Dropbox is cool. However, Dropbox can take up a lot of space on your hard drive. Uh, as you can see right here, here's my account. I used to use Dropbox extremely heavy. However, I don't use it that much anymore. So as you can see right here that I'm using seven and a half gigs out of my 15 gigs that I have within Dropbox. And I think by default, on a free account I think you get 10 gigs uh, I've earned a few uh, um, I've earned a few gigs in regards to referring my link and if you are if you're not already using Dropbox my link will be below in this video you can check it out and I do believe that I receive something to the degree of I don't know um, maybe like a gig or so every time I refer somebody I can't remember I can't exactly remember how much it is but you can invite friends and I earn 500 megabytes every time I invite a friend and I've earned right here 13 gigs so uh, it might even be less on the default account so be sure to share your link with other people however um, as you can see I have different projects going on right here in Dropbox the little blue two little blue people there indicate um, that it's a shared account so over here on my Dropbox I have Dropbox installed and if I go over here to my Dropbox here you can see the only thing that I'm syncing within Dropbox is my actual 1Password keychain so it connects to my iPad my phone things of that nature I could do it actually with Apple but I'm actually using Dropbox for that however if you go over here to Dropbox you got a little cogwheel right here you drop down the cogwheel and you go down over here to preferences and then once you get the preferences you go over here to account and over here under account you see uh, sensitive syncing and if you hit change settings you can uncheck the things that you do not want to sync to your computer so I don't have anything synced here so I'm not taking up any space on my hard drive in regards to Dropbox the only thing that's taking up space is one password and that's extremely small um, that's not taking up a whole lot of space but these videos right here from Clint Author and you know me and Thomas share a few things and over here my website when I used to actually have my website up for website candy that would take up a couple gigs or so however I'm not updating that website on a day-to-day -day basis I'm not even utilizing that website anymore so therefore I have unchecked it that way it's not taking up any space on my hard drive so if you are using Dropbox and you feel like your Dropbox is taking up a lot of space on your hard drive you can uncheck that how you can check your hard drive is I actually have my hard drive on my desktop here so I can come over here and I can see that but at a snapshot what you want to do is you select your hard drive hit command I as in information and you can see you know what type of space you're dealing with it's 120 capacity small hard drive and I have 46 gigs available uh, right over here if I go over here to about this Mac under my Apple you have storage right here and you can also see what type of storage you're having in regards to the hard drives installed on your machine I have a nifty drive um, built into my computer but that's a whole nother you know video if you're not if you're not familiar with what nifty drive is just go look up nifty drive and um, you'll see what that's about but right here I have 121 gigs total I have 46 gigs 0.66 available on my hard drive so you know get rid of those files that you're not using on a day-to-day -day basis within Dropbox if you have a lot of different stuff in your Dropbox and I do believe for upgraded account I think it's maybe 10 or 20 dollars with Dropbox and you get a whole terabyte so a lot of times what happens is yeah for nine bucks a month um, or ninety nine dollars a year you can actually get a, a terabyte within Dropbox and that's all well and good but you know if you don't have a terabyte space on your hard drive you're going to not really even be able to utilize this because you got everything syncing once you, if you got a 250 gig hard drive or a 120 gig hard drive like myself and you go pit 500 gigs in Dropbox it's all not even going to sync anyway because your hard drive is not 
big enough to handle that type of capacity so what you want to do is you can still stuff a terabyte worth of data inside Dropbox but make sure that you do it again I'm gonna show you one more time you click Dropbox you hit the little cog wheel here you go down to preferences you go over here to accounts you go to uh, selective syncing sorry I said sensitive earlier <laughs> and um, you hit change settings and you uncheck those boxes so you can have an entire terabyte worth of data within your Dropbox for $9.99 however you don't want a full terabyte of data on your computer you know even for free okay so you don't want to do that to yourself so hopefully this video helped out somebody hopefully you know you were able to rescue some space on your hard drive in reference to controlling Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever type of service you might be using that's syncing to your computer alright thank you for watching goodbye now